Hello retro fans. Okay, today let's play Alien Breed 3D2 The Killing Grounds. Let's first choose the, the sound, Polar Hi-Fi 8-bit stereo. There we go. Let's play the game. Good story is always important. Somebody read it? No? Okay. So, here in the beginning you can make the screen a bit wider. I don't know why, but uh, I've been testing stuff stuff and uh, you can make these kind of adjustments pick some mines and have a look here okay we have a first customer there thank you and goodbye pick the medi pack Let's go to the first door. Big red gate there. Pick some shotgun shells. I have to say I, I really like the the sounds in this game. They make really nice atmosphere. For example, that the gate when it went up, it made, made a, this kind of a very satisfying thump there. And let's go carefully to this corner. And uh, when I say carefully, I really mean it because you know this this uh, RTG version is it's not the finished product. So if if any of those uh, aliens uh, have a chance to get close and 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 uh, touch the our hero here, the game will crash. So you have to kill them before they get close. And it, it makes it makes playing this game very difficult. You cannot cannot really properly play this game. But uh, you can you can get some kind of uh, idea that uh, what this game is like. That's that's what we can. It's possible to achieve. So I can hear some some robot sounds here. Let's have a look behind this door. There you go. These guys have very broad shoulders. It's like trying to get to a nightclub. They are they're like some kind of doorman or something. Okay, let's see what's here. Ammo. Okay. So today we are playing this this game with uh, Amiga 3000 equipped with uh, 060 and uh, I have been playing this with with Cybervision 64 with 64 3D graphics card and uh, now today we are we are using ZZ9000 and, and uh, I have to say I, I don't see any difference between these two cards it looks exactly the same to me it's possible to to play this game with uh, maybe maybe the the minimum would be 040 processor but uh, but uh, this this game is famous for for having really extreme in Amiga world really extreme hardware requirements let's see if we dare to go to this tunnel you know in this tunnel the these red beasts you know they can they can really surprise you and uh, the game will crash and it, it will be game over or you can play the the escape button very quickly so maybe maybe then you can escape the game crashing is there anybody there no is there anybody there there, somebody is going to come behind this. Oh, I knew it. No chance this time, buddy. Oh, let's see if we can get some 
ammo here. Medipack. What here? No? Yeah, like the text says, the, the area has been fortified so that the door is blocked. Let's go back. I have been playing this, this game earlier with uh, Yoni's Amiga 4000. It has AGA graphics and uh, and uh, we had a 060 processor in it. it, it it's, then it then it works perfectly and it's a, it's really I, I like this game I have to say. But so far I have I have never had an AGA Amiga. Now I can I can tell that uh, I made a recent purchase and uh, got uh, CD32. But uh, of course, e even with the terrible fire 330, it's it's not possible to play this game on CD32. But there's just recently there was news that uh, there might be terrible fire 360 coming. So. Then it might be possible to play this on a CD32. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Would be great, of course. The graphics in this in this game was, came are really, really very nice. Oh, who's there? Okay, there you go. Hmm. Judging from the sounds, there's plenty of companies over here. Let's see. There you go. Okay. Any more? Shotgun shells. Great. Okay. Let's go down. Going down. Oh, damn it, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, it's that, that, okay, one more time. Let's have a look. Just a room full of uh, goodies. Mm, very nice. Oh yeah. Key card, yes. Medipack. Well, this this uh, patched RTG version, if if not anything else, it will teach you to to play very carefully. That's for sure. <laughs> this this uh, elevator is my my Achilles heel in this game. Quickly, okay. Really, just look at this room. I I think when when this game was was published, you know, this this graphics was was really astounding. And, uh, I remember the 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 news about this game. When it came, and uh, I was looking at all the screenshots and uh, and reviews of the of the game, and uh, really, it it, it, it became like uh, like a legend in my mind of uh, of uh, epic proportions, and uh, here we go into the darkness. Okay, so it was possible to get into the next level. I 
I have to have to say that uh, in this RDG version, it, it's usually very very difficult to get anywhere. Okay. So we survived the initial onslaught. Okay. Wow. This is going better than I, than I expected. And, uh, let's see now. Now, how do you change the weapon? You can make the screen wider again. light effects That uh, red beast, w when it uh, came our way a moment ago, it just went past. And uh, I remember reading that uh, in in these games, the game, the 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 AI works in a way that um, that uh, if if the if the alien come comes along at you, then then uh, it will avoid. Conflict and uh, and uh, instead they will they will gang up. That's what I read. But that guy looked like he was coming right for us. Okay. I love the graphics in this. It's really amazing. Oh, the floor was red hot. Okay. A lot of robot sounds. I'm a going circle hero. So. Big red one. Ooh, it's trying to kill me. Whoa, I got it. 
Okay, so here was some Killing Grounds RDG version gameplay. Here are some examples of the stories in game magazines that I talked about. They gave points to different versions of the game and made clear that your experience would seriously depend on what kind of specs your Amiga had. I myself think that it is important that these 3D games were made. They showed that it could be done on Amiga. A high quality Doom or Quake like first person shooter was possible. There were of course others, but I think Team 17's work here was really something special. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.